Okay, team, let's rewind. Here's what's been happening on Ghostwriter. The facts. First, Lenny gets a call from Jade Morgan, president of Smash Records. I'm looking for new recording artists, and I think you have a lot of potential. Jade could make Lenny a big star. So, Lenny writes a song called You Gotta Believe. Jade loves it Let's and wants to have Lenny and the team make a video for MTV. But Lenny gets a phone Hello. call. This is Marlon Campbell, president of In Your Face Records. And he wants Lenny to sign a contract with his company, not Jade's. He says he'll make Lenny a huge star, but she's already signed with Jade. Meanwhile, Jamal's cousin Casey is staying with the Jenkinsons while her mom is in the hospital. Casey loves to play jokes on Jamal. <laughs> The team shows up at the TV studio to make the video, and lots of weird accidents happen. The lights mysteriously go out, and the team's feet get glued to the floor. Then the lighting board explodes because someone cut the wires. And Casey secretly followed Jamal to the studio, and she's been sneaking around. And she was hiding in Jade's office when someone put a scary note on Jade's desk. The team figures out that whoever's behind the accidents must be working on the video, since no one else is allowed in the studio. There are four suspects. Sonia Ivey, Smash Records publicity director. She thinks the accidents are good for publicity. Leif Shaughnessy, the lighting man, who used to be a famous music star. He blames Jade because he's not a star anymore. She used to be his manager, but dumped him when his songs weren't hits anymore. David Keeler, director of the video. Ghostwriter found a note in his pocket from Marlon Campbell, president of In Your Face Records. But David told Lenny he doesn't know Marlon and Avatar, makeup artist to the stars. He's been in the studio during the accidents. Get your pencil and casebook and start piecing the puzzle because the Ghost Rider team is on the case. Casey, Casey, what are you doing here? More practical jokes, huh? There's how many jokes have you pulled today anyway? Are you the one that's messing up our video? Does Grandma know where you are? What's going on here? We found a practical joker. Who is this? This is my cousin, Casey. The one who's visiting? The one who you said kept bugging you to be in the video? That's the one. How did she get past security? This is a closed set. Yeah, Casey, you want to answer that question? I felt you here this morning. And the guard let me in. I just wanted to see what it was like to be on TV. I swear I didn't break anything. It would be awfully hard for a little girl to get inside a lighting board to cut the wires. Maybe she did it because she was mad she didn't get into the video. That's not true. I'm with Max. I don't think a little girl could have caused this much trouble. But I will have to ask you to leave. <sighs> I'll... I'll take her home. Come on, Casey. I don't care what anyone says. Right now, she's a number one suspect. Grandma, are you home? I'm on the phone! Casey's here. I'm going back to the studio, okay? Okay! Now, this time, stay put. You caused enough trouble for one day. Jamal, I didn't do it. Don't you believe me? Yeah, I guess so, but look, I don't have time to talk about this right now. I've got to get back to the studio. But I don't have anyone to play with. I'm not your babysitter, all right? And I've got something a little bit more important to do right now than just sit here and eat fake worms and listen to your stupid jokes. Concentrate on the movements. And now we got five suspects. Sonia, Leaf, Avatar, David, and Casey. And we know why Casey might have done it. She's jealous she didn't get to be in the video. And we know she pulls practical jokes. Nanny's hurt. What's Ghost Rider talking about? Three accidents? But there've only been two. 
Unless it's gonna be another one. Quick, ask us right away read it. What does it say about the third accident? Danger on the set. That's what Sony wanted to write for publicity about the accidents. But Jay told her not to. Looks like she did anyway. For hotter than hot pop singer Lenny Frazier, making a music video has been scary. Danger has stalked the talented teen ever since camera started rolling Saturday. Danger? Let me see. First, the set was plunged. Plunged. Plunged into total darkness, causing screams of terror and confusion. Terror and confusion. No one screamed when the lights went out. Why did she write that? Look what she wrote about me. Gabby Fernandez, one of Frazier's street tough posse of backup dancers, fainted from fear. I didn't faint. Okay, so I was a little scared. And you're not street tough. Now me, for example. Don't get too proud of yourself, Hector. She lied about you, too. What? She wrote you used to be in the singing group Menudo. Menudo? But she did say you were a heartthrob. She also said you were carried off on a stretcher? Why did she write all this stuff? Here's the third accident Ghostwriter was talking about. The third and most bone-chilling accident occurred? What does that mean? Occurred. It means happened. Oh, like ocurrió. Occurred Sunday when Lenny was nearly run over by a speeding car. Run outside, smash records? Oh no! Sunday's tomorrow. Sonia's gonna hit Lenny with a car tomorrow? We've gotta stop her! Wait a minute, Hector. Almost every word in here is a lie. Maybe Sonia lied about the car crash, too. That's how Ghost Rider that Lenny's okay. For now. Casey? Casey, what's the matter? I hate it here. I want to go back to Detroit. Oh, honey, I know you do, but you can't. Not yet. Your mother needs a few more days to get better. But she's out of the hospital already, and Cheryl got to stay home. Well, the doctor said she needs some peace and quiet. Your big sister's taking care of her. I can help. Well, honey, I know you can, but you're going to have to be patient a little longer. Meanwhile, we're all real happy to have you here. Not Jamal. He hates me. Oh, I'm sure he doesn't. Oh, yes, he does. All because I followed him to a stupid video. You followed him, and he didn't know you were going? He wasn't looking after you? I know that part was my fault, Grandma, but I just wanted to be in a video so bad. And now his friends were blaming me for something I didn't do. And then Jamal yelled at me and told me my jokes were stupid. He did, did he? Well, I'm going to have a talk with him as soon as he gets home. Meanwhile, you and I are going to have a little talk about why little girls shouldn't go wandering through Brooklyn by themselves. You hear me? Yes, Grandma. <laughs> you better be real careful crossing the street tomorrow. Hector! So what's our game plan? I'll talk to Sonia. Maybe she was lying about the car crash. Maybe she wasn't. Hector! Hey, there goes Avatar. He's a suspect. I'll talk to Leaf to see if he blames Jade enough to cause the accidents. Be careful. Gabby! Hey, Avatar! Where are you going? I'm just getting some fresh air. Wait. I was wondering about what other famous people you hang out with. You know, I try not to think of them as famous people. They're just my friends. Give me some names. Well, Princess Shaniqua, Nana Strawberry, boys with a voice. Wow! <laughs> and if you run into them on the street, they'd say, like, hi, Avatar? I'd hope so, yeah. So, how come you're doing this video? Well, I just finished a film in London, and uh, I don't have any work lined up until next week. But you do all this big stuff. Why would he do a video for Lenny? No one even heard of her. It's my policy to be nice to everyone. Fabulous, Fabulous or, or not. not. I gotta go. I'll see you later. Sure.
Then that's confirmed. The car will be here tomorrow at 5. Love you. Mean it. You are. You are planning to run Lenny over. No way. Why should I believe you? You lied about me, you lied about Hector, and you were going to send this to the newspapers? Look, I can explain. I'm a news reporter for Washington Elementary School, and I'd never report something that wasn't true. What you did wasn't news. Duh, it's publicity. Huh? Publicity isn't about facts. Blah! My job is to make a story so exciting that television and newspaper reporters will have to write about it. Now, if that means stretching the truth a teeny tiny bit, well... But why'd you write about the accidents when Jay told you not to? Well, it was such a great story, I thought I could get her to change her mind. So I wrote it and I showed it to her. And? She still said no. So I dumped it. We did find it in the garbage. Now I'm working on the publicity Jade wants me to write. See? Top secret new mystery act at Smash. With feeling, Gabby. Read it with feeling. What's the secret behind the closed doors of Smash Records? Why has President Jade Morgan absolutely forbidden any reporters from sneaking a peek at her hot new singer? It's not finished yet, but you get the idea. Yeah. So, you made up the car crash the way you made up all the other stuff? Sorry I accused you. Sorry I scared you. <laughs> yeah, that car crash was over the top. I'll say, a mob of screaming fans chased Lenny Frazier down the street. This looks like the other ladder Jade car. I'll never forget the victory dance. The night no one gave me half a good glance. But then you looked into my eyes. So you see me now through my disguise? 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 This guy writes some weird letters. Leave! What do you want? It's personal! What? I heard Jade was your manager when you were a star, and then she dropped you. Are you angry with her for that? Shh. Keep your voice down. Yeah, you bet I'm angry. After my fourth song flop, Jade dropped me like a hot rock and was back to pumping gas. Bummer. And how'd you end up working for Jade again? Hey, hey, where is everybody? Come on, let's get back to work, please. Lee, what's with these lights? We've lost too much time as it is. Let me proud, stand tall, hold your head up high. Be a friend to your friends and don't be afraid to cry. Learn as much as you can and then each one teach one. Okay, looks good, kids. Let's shoot it, all right? Well, what about Jamal? He's not back yet. Sorry, Lenny, but we're running out of time. If we wait any longer, we're going to miss our deadline for MTV. Can't believe how this is going. First, all the accidents. Now my own friends are messing it up. We'll never get this on the air. Oh, yes, you will. <laughs> I'm here. Let's shoot it, Dave. Okay, let's pick it up from the verse. This time with the lip sync. Ready? And... Action! Oh yeah, oh yeah, you gotta believe. Come on, do it now. Uh. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you gotta believe. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yo, you gotta believe. There are too many kids with too few choices. No one to listen when they break their voice. Cut, cut! What's wrong now? Do I know? I just pushed play. Let me see. Oh. Now the tape is wrong. Hey, I can't... I can't shoot to this! Don't worry, I have another copy of the tape in my office. See? 
It's no. No. No, I'll never get my video done in time. We'll never get it done at all. Why is this happening? Let's not panic. The original copy of your tape is at the recording studio downtown. I'll have them send up a copy right away. It's four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. You can't expect to get a dub made in time to shoot any more today. No, but we'll have it done in time to start early tomorrow morning. 8 a.m., folks. Hey, it's okay. This gives us more time to work on the case. Let's go to my house. Sorry, Gabby. Lenny's had a long day. Oh, I'm okay, Dad. I think you need to unwind. It's okay. What about you guys? Sorry, I can't make it. We're having a family dinner. I'll come. Okay. Alex and Tina will help us. All gone. I must be dreaming. I'll just play along till I wake up. It's me. They're for me. Secret admirer. <laughs> They're from Marlon Campbell, the president of Your Face Records. Listen up, Len. Still hoping you'll change your mind. If you come to In Your Face, we'll make you a huge star. Call me at 555-FACE. Let's chat tomorrow. Whoa, this guy doesn't take no for an answer. I told him that you'd sign with Jade. I wish we'd signed with Marlon instead. The way things are going with Jade, my video's never gonna get made. I thought I heard voices. I see you found the flowers, Lenny. Marlon Campbell delivered them himself in a white limousine. Wait a minute. Um, how did you get into the apartment? I lent Sally the keys just for today. Her apartment's being painted. Hope you don't mind. Sure, Sally. Take over our apartment. Move in for all I care. Lenny, what's wrong with you? Lenny, I want you to apologize. Sorry, all right? Sorry for my whole life! There's so many suspects, I don't know how we're ever gonna figure out who's doing it. We have to stop them by tomorrow, or we'll never be video stars. Guys, chill. Let's try to figure this out calmly. Yeah, there's no reason to panic. You've got all the suspects written down in the casebook, right? Yeah. So, let's look at the casebook and try and narrow down the list. Piece in the puzzle. Right. Now, you said Casey left the studio around noon, and the tape didn't start messing up till later, which means Casey couldn't have done it. Jamal would be happy to hear that. We can rule out Sonia, too. The third accident was a messed up tape, not a car crash. Yeah, that's right. She lied, uh, exaggerated for publicity. Leaf? We can't rule out Leaf. He still seems really angry with Jade. Well, what about David? The director? Says he hasn't worked in a long time. And he lied about Marlon Campbell. That's not much to go on. Still, we can't rule him out. We can't rule out Avatar either. He's the one that left all those creepy notes for Jade. So we have three suspects left. Avatar, David, and Leaf. Now what? Tomorrow, we narrow it down to one. Hi. 
Hi. Um, where's my dad? He's picking up some Chinese food. I guess he finally gave up on me as a cook. Yay. Um, I'm sorry for the way I blew up before. It doesn't mean that I don't like you or I don't want you around. I know. And I'm sorry that things are going so badly on the video. But still, I, I shouldn't have yelled like that. I acted like a total brat. You're under an awful lot of pressure. But I appreciate the apology. I bet that if I'd signed with Marlon, I wouldn't have these problems. Marlon does things right. Flowers, my limousine. Uh, David? Uh-oh. I've heard Casey's side of the story. Now I'd like to hear yours. Grandma, I'm sorry I yelled at her, but she's impossible. She followed me all the way to the studio and had been hiding out there all morning. I know all about that, and Casey's never going to do something so stupid or dangerous ever again. Right, Casey? Yes, Grandma. But that still doesn't excuse your behavior, Jamal. You know how we do things in this family. Even if you're angry, you don't go flapping off your mouth. We talk things through. Yes, ma'am. Now, do you have something to say to Casey? I'm sorry I told you your jokes were stupid. Sorry if it worms in your sandwich. They weren't real worms. <laughs> now, isn't that better? Catch up to dinner? Sure. Hey, Casey. You'll need this. You're gonna let me borrow your mitt? Yeah, just try not to get any peanut butter in it this time. Uh, Jamal? <laughs> <laughs> um, Mr. Campbell? It's Lenny Fraser. Thanks for the flowers. Don't thank me, Len. It was the least I could do to pay tribute to your great, great talent. So have you changed your mind about my offer? Um, well, no. <laughs> what will it take to convince you? Smash Records is going nowhere. Oh, I wouldn't say that. We're doing a major video right now with the fabulous director, David Keeler. I'm sure you know him. No. You've never met? No. Two men who've been in the music business so long? There's a lot of people in the music business. But listen up, Len. You need in your face records. With us, you could be huge. There's my other line. Promise me you'll think about it. Let's chat. So that's how we narrowed it down to three suspects. We have more evidence against David Keeler, too. Both David and Marlon lied about knowing each other. What was that? Look out! Tony! What happened? Lenny! Go find Jack. Oh! You're lucky that wire didn't break. This would have smashed you fatter than a pancake. But uh, Leaf got us out of the way in time. It's quick thinking, Leaf. Thank you. Uh, I didn't have to think. I just reacted. You saved our lives. Oh, this is a great publicity angle. Kid pop star of yesterday saves kid pop star of today. Yeah. Could help me make a comeback. Girl, I really need you, girl. I really want you, you wait, know. Wait, I'm thinking. Wait. We'll talk about it later. The most important thing right now is to figure out how this happened. Well, somebody pulled out the bolt, cut the safety cable. Wait a minute. Hello. What's this? 
Here. Jade, this is the final smash for Smash Records. When I'm done with you, the only sound coming out of there will be the sound of silence.